So going back to this Ethernet cable tester, I, and I remember this is the one uh, which has got a USB connector as well. So there's the the two USB connectors here, so you can test the old style USB cables. Um, but I also want to be able to test micro USB cables. Now um, there's a bit of a space here on the circuit board, so I was thinking of uh, knocking a couple of holes in here and putting in the a micro USB connector. So in here somewhere. And maybe if there's space also put the mini USB in there also. So the first thing to do I think is to move this capacitor because it's kind of in the way. So let me move this cap and we'll see how we're going. Right, I've removed the cap from the top side there, so I just transferred it onto the back. I've got a little wire link in there, a little bit of tape to insulate that leg there, and that leaves a nice clear space on the top of the board. Plenty of room to put the micro USB connector in. So I've removed the RJ11 because I don't really test RJ11 in any case and put this uh, ribbon cable in instead. So we've got a ribbon cable and that is going to feed... that's the wrong way around. Oh no, I was right. Um, that's going to feed two new connectors. So I've got these headers. That's a mini USB and a micro USB, which can fit in there. So basically, I've got to drill a couple of holes to hold these in place. Maybe use some glue as well. So here's the first phase complete. So I've wired up the ribbon cable here. So I've doubled it up here so I can lead this out to the other connector over here, the, the micro USB over that side. But the mini USB is in place now. So let me demonstrate. So there we are, we've got the first four lighting up. There's actually five wires in a micro USB or mini USB. Um, the, the fifth one is called ID and it's used in um, USB on the go connectors. So, so these are the connectors that you can use with um, mobile phones so that the mobile phone can become the, um, the, the primary end of the USB. So I've, I've actually connected ID to number five. Um, so if I can find a, a USB on the go cable, I'll, I'll test that and see if I've done the right thing there. So the next thing is to stick that down into place and also wire up the micro USB. So now we have the micro USB connected up. So unfortunately the connector, because it's laid out in exactly the same pin order, means I've got a twist in the in the cable, which is not very pretty, but there we are. So somehow I have to get those located in there and fix them in into place. Um, so if we give that a test. So I've got a, a known good cable here. Let's just plug that in and turn it over so we can see the LEDs. There we go, so we get one, two, three, four. And once again, the pin 5 is actually connected to ID, but I haven't 
tested that yet with a an, an, uh, USB on the go cable. Um, so that's essentially finished now. I just need to locate those connectors and get everything back into the case. I used a bit of hot glue to hold the connectors in place and so there, there are holes, mounting holes on the corner but I couldn't drill through the, the board in any of these places because of components and tracks on the other side there just wasn't space. So I've used some hot glue which is not very pretty but it's quite functional and so I've got the front piece back in place. Um, one more modification, I had to trim off these columns here because the, these are for pressing down onto the board and uh, now I've got things in those places so I needed to trim those and that all fits together. I might put a blanking panel in there where the RJ11 uh, used to be. Let's give it a go. micro USB Oops. there we go, that's working one, two, three, four so micro USB side is good Yep, all the connectors showing up there. Um, now I should have Should have a dodgy cable somewhere. I'm not sure which one it was. No, that one's good. No, it seems all my cables are good. So, so now I can't lay my hands on a on a broken cable at the moment. But uh, there we are. Cable tester is finished. I need to put some screws in, but that's complete. So that's really a much more useful instrument for me now with the micro USB and mini USB uh, integrated into it.